Uh, yes. What about the what about the moment that you met Connor for the first time? How did that happen? And did anything stand out in particular about his mindset or the energy that he carried? Yeah, so so Connor kind of joined the gym. I remember I remember his first class. I remember walking in, a young, confident young lad. But this young kid comes in and he's he's got this just belief in himself. Now you you, you got to realize that he, he could box a bit, like he was a good boxer and he's power in his hands, but he had nothing else. You know, he had no wrestling. He had no kickboxing, he had no jiu-jitsu, no nothing. So he was losing straight away. But every time he lost, he'd just get up and he still had this belief in himself that he was just the best. And, you know, I was a bit baffled. At first, I thought he was a bit mad. I was like, this, this kid is crazy. He doesn't know He doesn't know any jiu-jitsu, no wrestling, no nothing, but thinks he's the best fighter in the world. You know, he had this belief in himself. And I think, I think in order to be successful at anything, you know, you've got to back yourself. You gotta believe that you can do it. You gotta prove them wrong and you gotta prove to yourself that you are this person. And you know, you can't do it without putting the walk in. And one thing Connor did was he would just come back up the next day, like I said, and like I did. You know, I say he did it quickly, but when you're putting that many hours on the mat, you know, it's probably not that quick. It's just it's just he's put more hours than anyone else. But uh, yeah, that was it. I think his his confidence was was the big one, you know. I think it grew on all of us as well. We all became a lot a lot more confident when he was there.